Hey guys, uh, so I decided to make a video on how to install the USB Apple CarPlay module for F-150s. Um, higher end XLT, Lariat, King Ranch, Platinum models. Um, we have a little bit of a different setup than the, I guess, the regular XLTs, XLs. Um, the, <clears throat> it makes it much more difficult to get to because we have a little slot that it's in. So I couldn't find a video on how to do it on YouTube. I thought I'd make one, see if I can help anybody else out. Um, I'm not really a channel that digs on subscribers. Um, I don't have any subscribers, but I also don't post a lot of videos and none of my content is fluid as in like, it's all about my truck or it's all about my Jeep or it's all about um, my acting or whatever. So I decided to uh, not worry about subscribers. So don't worry about subscribing to me. But if you have a comment, by all means, I check it often. You can go ahead and go ahead and ask a question down there and I will answer it. So I'm gonna show you what my setup is here. A little bit of movie magic for you. I've already done it. That's my Apple CarPlay. Um, but so here is the setup we have. We have this little slide panel here. Let me get my flashlight out of here. And that is where our USB setup is. The problem with ours is on the side there, right down in there. You can see a couple scratches from me getting at it. It's more difficult to get to and pop that side up. Um, so yeah. Okay, so like I said earlier, the biggest problem with the Lariat and Platinum and King Ranch is we have this nice little slide deck here that hides this compartment. And some of the XLT models might have this as well, which doesn't make it as easy. It locks in the back. Doesn't make it as easy to get to that side of the USB port over here. So you can see there's a couple scratches. I've done this before. Um, before I made the video to make sure I could do it over and over again for you guys. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a very small flathead and some needle nose. And you can buy the Amazon kit, I think it's like eight or 12 bucks. If you order it prime, you can get it in two days and just bide your time and do it that way. But. I like to come up with my own ways. So I'm gonna stick this into the bottom, or yeah, underneath this plate for the USB port, somewhere right in the center. I'm gonna use this pointer finger to guide my flathead tip down. And I'm gonna stick it in. Oops, I lost the flathead. All right, cool. Make sure you have a nice tight grip on these needle nose. It might even behoove you to use some uh, vice grips and lock it in there. All right, so once you stick it in, just go ahead and pry it up, and now it's up. Cool. So, you don't want this popping back down on you, that's the biggest problem. If you go to stick this butter knife in the other side, you know, it's gonna create a fulcrum right in the center and it's gonna pop the other side back down. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your pointer finger, this won't pinch you, this won't hurt, I promise, and stick it right in the center of there and stick it right underneath there, just like that, and hold it up. Then, you can take your butter knife, let it go flat and push underneath in the center and pop it up. That's going to bring these right out. Oops, sorry. Cool. So now most of these wires should be plug and play. Let me get my flashlight. So here is my wiring. You should see like right there. I don't know if you can see that. There's a little clip. And then if you spin it right here end of this gray piece and you'll see this better when you pull yours out there's a little clip right there okay just look for those clips that's how you're gonna get this out get these wires out you don't want them to fall back in there so gently pull it out as far as you can get it. that seems to be as far as mine will go I'm not gonna pull it any harder I don't want to ruin the wiring so next I'm just gonna go ahead and push on that clip and then push out so push down on the clip and use these fingers to push out to push you don't want to ruin the clip by yanking on it. Okay, so we got one out. Set it off to the side. We don't want it falling back in. This one, same thing. I got a clip right here. Just going to push down. Pull up. Cool. So now what I want to do is I just want to verify that these are the same. Or not the same, sorry. Um, that they have the same inputs. So this is the one that came out of the truck. And this is the one that's going in. They look exactly identical. That makes me happy. All right, so set this one aside. Now, this is the model number you want. Let's see if I can get this thing to zoom. It's my wife's fam uh, fancy Nikon. 
I don't really know how to use it that well. So if you can see that, there it is. That's the model number you want. Uh, 19A387B. Alright, and this was like, I think maybe 50 or 60 bucks on Amazon. Okay, so now what we're going to do is snap these back in the same way the other ones came out. Boom, one. Oop, let me zoom back in, see if I can help you out here. Okay. You now, don't force these. If it doesn't fit, you don't got to go in and write. So take a look at it, figure it out. Don't force it. There we go. Locked in. All right, so now before I snap that back in, which should be relatively simple and should work, what I want to do is test to make sure it works. So we're going to go ahead and plug in my iPhone cord. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and start the truck. Come to my screen here. By the way, if you haven't updated your software to Sync 3, go to owner.ford.com, uh, click support, or just scroll over it. There'll be a drop down menu, and you can click software update. It's really simple. Um, and, uh, and it'll walk you through it. The only thing I will add is that if you have a MacBook like I do, you cannot do it in Safari. It'll download too many files. You have to do it in, uh, well, I did it in Mozilla Firefox. You don't have to do that. Cool, so now I have Apple CarPlay permission. It's asking me for it. I never had this before. And there it is, so let's see if it works. We'll do, yep, it's fine, continue. I agree that Ford is not responsible if I die while using CarPlay. Now my phone is asking me here. If it's okay, I'm gonna click allow. <coughs> Look at that, I've got CarPlay. How sweet is that? All right, cool, so it works. Um, if you have any questions, comment below. I don't really dig on subscribers. I don't uh, have a lot of random videos. I don't really, I'm just gonna pop it in. I don't really have any fancy videos. Um, I don't stick to any specific topic. So you don't worry about subscribing. But if you have any comments, just go ahead and comment below and, and, uh, and I'll respond. It's pretty sweet.